Welcome back to another vlog, guys. Yes, you'd have seen from the thumbnail, it's about socks. Who would have thought it, hey? I'm not crazy. Genuinely, I want to know what are the best pair of socks to wear when riding in winter because I cannot stand having cold feet. I am Mrs. Cold, though. I'm the person that in summer, excuse me while I'm whirling around, because I'm trying to stamp in these holes that my horses like making when they're idiots and they like galloping around the field. Yeah, I can't stand the cold. I'm the sort of person that even in summer when it's 28 degrees, I'll have a gilet on. So you can imagine when it gets down to like below five, I'm struggling. Anyway, I thought this year I'm not going to suffer anymore. The weather's starting to change and I'm definitely noticing that my feet are struggling. So I thought, right, I'm going to do get myself some decent socks had a quick look on youtube couldn't find any really good review videos and i thought right i'm gonna do one because the best bit about it is i end up with the socks at the end of it so happy days for me anyway it's like a little bit of an experiment there's two things i want to find out one are equestrian socks worth the extra money because they are like three times the price of your standard kind of high street sock which is quite a lot of money and two which are genuinely the warmest pair of socks to wear when you're riding when it's cold. So uh, two very important things to find out there. Anyway, I don't have the budget to buy about 20 pairs of different socks, sadly. Wish I did, but I don't. Uh, so <laughs> I've only got five sets, two high streets and three equestrian brands. And yeah, I am going to test run them all to find out which are going to keep my toes warm this winter. Also to help you guys out, because like I said, I couldn't find anything on YouTube that anyone else had done. So I thought it makes a great video and they make a wonderful Christmas present. Any equestrian will be always very grateful and happy to see good socks in their stocking because you're giving someone the gift of warm feet and that is a good thing. So uh, yeah, we're all happy to have some socks. So I 100% didn't think this through on how I was actually going to show the socks. Right, so here goes. We're starting off with high street sock and this is the next welly socks and they are £10 for two pairs. I put them in this sort of... I mean, you can't really call it an experiment, but I'm going to call it an experiment. My experiment for the best winter riding socks, because one, I've had quite a few pairs over the last couple of years, and I really do rate them as a sock. They stay up for a welly sock. They actually stay up, which is amazing. They're the lovely length, great patterns and designs on them, and they're a good price. In the boot, I never feel them slip down. I, For me, I find that I get that extra bit of comfort, having that little bit of extra thickness that they are they're only kind of one up from a standard sock but if it's under five degrees for me personally knowing that i'm mrs cold they're not enough so when i was hacking out this week i had them on and it was about two three degrees and my feet were cold so they're not enough for me personally and obviously they're not a thermal sock they are just a welly sock but when it comes to super cold weather these aren't enough but i still think they make a really good equestrian sock Anyway, we are looking at another high street sock. Would you call Amazon high street? I think we can, can't we? These socks were from Amazon. They happened to just pop up one day when I was looking for something else. Now when I've checked online, they're 12. They aren't quite as good a quality sock as the next one. So these are also a welly sock. And like I say, the quality is not quite, as, quite there compared to the next. With the price, they stay up your leg nicely. They're that kind of same thickness. They kind of one up on a normal sock you know nice softness on the inside they stay nicely up with my wellies or my riding boots on they're just a good everyday sock they're not thermal they're not going to keep your feet warm enough if it's below five degrees but i do love them they would be my go-to pair along with the next ones for wearing every day so these this is kind of like the end of like the socks that i kind of already owned but i wanted to put them into the experiment um, and then the next lot are all socks I have ordered. So they're going to be completely new for trying out for me. There is one snoozy dog there. Um, so yeah, so I'm excited now to get the proper riding socks and see if they match up to these welly socks. You know, are they better? I hope so, because they cost a lot more money. I'm excited, another pair of socks arrived. I say another pair. From now on, these are all going to be new socks to me. So that I ordered them this week and the Treadstep ones came first. I'll give you a little close up of the packaging. I mean, they look like they should do the job, these ones. I'm very excited to try them. You can see all the technical details on the back about them. So 
these are the winter merino socks love the color of these i think they are absolutely beautiful and kind of have that lovely wintry festive look to them um really good nice elasticated top so hopefully they won't slip down in my boot or my wellies they're thin this is the only thing i'd say that surprises me is they're quite thin like they're kind of standard sock thinness whereas the welly socks from amazon and next are kind of like one up thickness wise but i'm assuming with the merino wool kind of woven into them that you don't need them to be thick and that the merino wool will do their job so i'm very excited to try these 13 pounds i did also see them for 20 pounds anyway i'm gonna put them on tomorrow and give them a bit of a test and let you know how i get on with them and the tread step winter socks so these had about 30 percent merino wool in i think don't quote me on that had high hopes for these socks because obviously merino wool is regularly used in thermal clothing love the style of them love the sort of design of them i love the pattern on them love the color i am not the biggest fan of merino wool i just don't like the feel of it so these socks perhaps aren't the softest and the nicest feeling to me personally they're quite structured so like they're quite tight on the leg in a good way i don't think a bad way i found that the sock part or the foot part of the sock was quite big and when i was riding it sort of bunched down a little bit on the heel and actually felt like it was rubbing a little bit which was a bit a bit of frustrating but that could have easily just been my joppers bagging a little bit or something like that so i'm not blaming the sock entirely on that but it was noticeable and it did just annoy me a little bit my feet were genuinely warm but this wasn't the coldest day i reckon it would have been about mm, six degrees but there was a there was pretty cold wind um so i thought it was a good test however when i got to that evening after wearing these socks for the day i came up with two chill blains on one foot on um two of the toes so now I'm not sure whether that was to do with the socks, whether it's just unfortunate coincidence. I, I don't know. I don't know how quickly chill bones come up. Um, it could have been from a couple of days before for all I know. But I was a little bit disappointed to see the chill bones come up. So like I say, I don't know for sure whether it's anything to do with the socks or not. Um, but they are definitely a good winter sock. There's no doubt about it. The next pair of socks I'm trying are the Wolfwear Winter Riding Socks. And actually, I have had these um, sort of saved on my eBay watch list for a really long time. And I was really keen to try them. So the great thing about here is I've got two sets. This cost me about £16. If you can hear that eating in the background, it's my cat. Um, about £16. So again, kind of around average for all the pairs of socks that I've brought for your question ones. Uh, loving the colour so let's get them unwrapped here they are unpackaged again all well not all the equestrian socks but again a really nice long sock which we all love as riders better pull them right up loving the colour they're a nice feel probably a nicer feel for me than the tread step ones and i'll say because i don't particularly like merino wool to touch so that might just be me uh thicker than the tread step ones but still not crazy thick they're nice they're a nice sort of part wool knit really that again a little bit thinner up the top which is good i'd be really interested to see how they uh how they cope i'm about to... thanks angus thank thanks you carry on don't worry about it anyway i'll be interested to see <laughs> zoom down a bit since angus has stopped there but i'll be interested to see how these fare but yeah very excited have waited a long time i've always thought i'd really like a pair of wolfwear winter socks don't worry about it angus let's give them a try here we go, the review of the Wolfwear Winter Socks. You can see under there on the foot. Yeah, they pick up the dog hair like most of the, <laughs> my funky trousers. Um, pick up the dog hair. My dog's molting dreadfully at the moment, but all the socks have done this. I really like these socks. I've been super impressed with them. Today has been the perfect opportunity to trial them because I'll add some video of it, but it has been snowing. Um, it never settled, but I was out in the field trying to get them in and it was so cold and bitter. The wind was just, oh my God, it's freezing. And these socks really, I, I have my wellies on that are super thin and normally my feet are crying when I wear them in winter. And no, my feet felt really good. They're a nice thickness. I just, I'm really chuffed. They're comfortable as well. They're comfortable. I love the feel of them. I've just been really impressed. And I'm so pleased I've got two pairs. And these socks lived up to their name as good winter socks. So yeah, I am... Um, I'm chuffed with these.
The final pair of socks that I'm going to test are these Eurostar technical winter socks. Look, it says extra warm. So fingers crossed these work. Uh, yeah, these are not what I imagined. They have kind of like a tights slash legging feel to them. I don't like tights. I hate the feel of them. And they're not as bad as that. But they're kind of like a cross between tights and leggings. Nothing like I imagined. Very stretchy. But like I say, super soft on the inside. Let's unpackage them and see. Here they are out of the packaging. Very different to any of the other socks. Though they have this kind of like, if I zoom in here, this kind of grip. So it's a bit like the sticky bottoms you get on job puts. So they have this kind of like sticky grip, which would go up the side of your car. So I'm guessing to stitch your boot a little bit better so they don't slip down. They're meant to, they're a technical fabric. So um, they feel a bit like a sports leg. And I said tights to begin with, but actually it's very much like a sports legging on them. Um, really comfortable, like they're super soft. And I, I'm really interested to try these to see if they really are as warm as they say they are. It's going to be interesting, very interesting. Never expected them to look like that, but they were, because I should have checked the price, they were just under £10. So you could get longer ones as well, but they were more expensive. And actually, these are not a bad length. So I went for the shorter ones. So yeah, £10. So again, not super cheap, but also not the most expensive compared to some of the others. Mm, very interested, very intrigued to see how I get on with these ones. My final pair. Final sock review. And this is for the Eurostar winter socks. Oh, I'm covered in hair because somebody doesn't stop molting. Um, I really like these socks. I'm pleasantly surprised because they are so thin that I thought there's no way these are going to keep my feet warm. But they do. And I've tested them in good weather today. It's been cold outside. It's been, well, first thing, it can't have been more than about two or three degrees. I went hacking and my feet felt great. So I'm really impressed. But where I think these socks would absolutely shine is in a pair of competition boots. If you're like me, I've got a pair of De Niro's and they're quite tight fitting. There is no room for a thick sock in there. These would be so good under them um, because there's really, there's no seams really, other than this bit of a seam, but I mean, it's barely a seam. They would feel so comfortable under my boot because I can't bear the feeling of anything thick or any lumps and bumps. Yeah, I mean, perfect Christmas present for someone who's very competitive. Um, that there, There's one downside to them. And I've got a couple of reasons why I think this has happened is that they do slip. This is very slippery material. You know, there's no grip to this. And when I wore them with my wellies on, they did slip down. Now, one, I should have bought the longer pairs. You can see compared to all the other socks, this is a short pair. You can get a long pair. I just didn't want to fork out the extra money for them. And two, I'm wearing the world's baggiest joppers today and they slipped down as well. So that wouldn't have helped the cause. But I think just feeling the... The, the kind of the feel of these socks, I think they would slip a little. And that's obviously why they put the grips on. Um, but even so, I really, really rate these socks and have been so impressed with them. You know, if you're somebody who doesn't like a thick sock on their feet, then you're going to love them. Um, but yeah, they, they have they have surprised me a lot. Um, so I like them a lot. I've enjoyed my, <laughs> my little sock experiment. I'm going to say that the Wolfwear ones won. Wolfwear for me were the best, then these Eurostar ones, and then the Tread Steps. Um, I love my everyday kind of the socks from Next and Amazon, but I have found out that equestrian winter socks are better than your average high street welly boot sock, and they do keep your feet a lot warmer. So they probably are worth the double or triple the price of a normal sock. It makes sense. These socks do do their job. So uh, yeah, go Wolfwear socks, but to be honest, these top two, Wolfwear and the Euro Sport, the Euro Star ones, um, would be my favourites by a long way. I absolutely love both types of socks. Very different, but love them both a lot. So uh, I've enjoyed this experiment, and what's better is I get to keep them. So happy days for my feet for this winter.